in the world nowadays. We travel by trains, ships, airplanes, and cars. Tonight, I will tell you about Bahrain transportation, focusing mostly on cars. Float host master, master of ceremonies, and most will come guests. Good evening, all. Good evening. Before starting the petroleum in Bahrain, people lost trouble by horses and camels. They spent a lot of time, maybe days, weeks, months, or years, to travel from the country to another country. They were also traveled by ships, but it was very difficult and expensive. They were also afraid to travel in the ship in big oceans. After discovery the petroleum in Bahrain, Bahrain much developed. They used cars because oil was in Bahrain as a natural resource and no need to import it. As I searched in the internet and asked the older people in Bahrain, there were, was, there were 20 buses and 40 cars during 1932 to 1975. But after 1918, each house had one to two cars. Today, today each person turned 18 years old want to have the owner cars. Why? Some protection based on the aesthetics published by the Department of Finance and Stability said between years 2003 to 2011, there were cars up to 269,654 cars. We all need to transport, we all need cars, we all need to do our work. To, we have transportation to, to do the life better, to have the life better. But if we, we think about this, uh, this kind of transportation, we should consider three things. Traffic, pollution, and parking problems. And the first things, uh, and the first things, traffic. Traffic is causing the accidents and traffic violations. Because people spend a lot of time in the traffic and they make angry, they drive very fast. To, to and this is exactly in the road to, to be the to get their des destinations in this motion, uh, moment they made accident maybe people died in this accident other problem is parking problems this is in the Babel Bahrain problems <laughs> Bahrain as a small countries imagine if each person in the country has one car. What would be happen? No parking. We can't park in the street. We can't park everywhere because each person has one car. In the Bahrain, we have pollution, two kinds of pollution. Air pollution and sound pollution. Sound pollution and air pollution. Do you know how much the air pollution in Bahrain? Any guess about the pollution in Bahrain? Ratio. You don't know? Any guess about the ratio of pollution, air pollution in Bahrain? On percentage. On what? One to ten? 75 no, percentage. Percentage? 85%. 81 percentage. It's 81 percentage. It's very dangerous. It's been very dangerous because we are as a small countries. We didn't feel, we didn't feel this kind of pollution, and if we smell it, and we come sick, like she is have an asthma. Maybe 55 or 60 percent of Bahraini people or people living in Bahrain have the asthma problem. Asthma problem. Other pollution we have burn. Everybody in here, every day, hear one time burn on the car. 
Imagine if each pe each person, each car, harm one time on the on the day. What will be happen? We should see me the sick people. Maybe they are don't want to hear the harm. As this problems, I have five so, uh, so, uh, five things I hope to solve it in future. First, we shall build the Greenland and parks parks as more. Second things, we don't harm. Or if you want to harm, sometimes it happens the cars inciting in the one uh, is in the in your cars and you want to harm it, use light instead of the home. It's reducing the sound pollution. And what's happened? <laughs> and and for this thing, I, I speak for the horn. And I have for that one, you are seeing the cars, no entering the cars. I have some pro, uh, procedure, I hope to do it in future, that two days at weeks, no allow the private cars out to reducing the pollution. But I have another things to replace this, uh, because we have private cars, we want to go works. I have another way. For, uh, for men, they, they, they going with bus is not, it's comfortable for them. But as a Bahrainian people, women people, they not comfortable, comfortable to go with, to ride in the buses. I hope to do the company, to do the company about the women buses especially for women to ride and relax. And last things, I have a parking. I want to build the multi-story uh, multi -story public parking that each house had two, uh, two cars. This has <coughs> to take the cost, it's, really, it's low cost, <laughs> it's low cost, but Sorry, <laughs> low cost. But if any person have more than three cars, he should to pay or she should to pay the tax. And this is things help to solve the problems by environmental money and country. Less cars, less died, less sick, and we are happy to living in the country. Thank you all.